Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We are here with Brandy and Coco and we're going to demonstrate all the obedience commands your girls learned here at school. As you'll notice, she's seated very nicely at Brandy's left, which is where all the training starts and stops. Brandy's got a standard six foot web training leash. She keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly on her right hand, which leaves her left hand free to make any little correction. And the only correction we give here at school is a little tiny tug and release on the little Martingale training collar. Now, the first command we're going to demonstrate is healing. Healing is proper leash walking, always on your left, and the command is Coco Heal. Now, we're doing this video indoors because it is distraction free. Because outside the wind's blowing, there's leaves distracting her. So, we're going to recommend that you practice with Coco inside, especially in the very beginning. Keep your training sessions really short, 10 minutes tops and make them fun. No, sit. Now when Brandy stops, if Coco doesn't sit, Brandy's got to make her sit. So be a little determined, a little bit more stubborn if you have to be. Now, in all fairness, our video has been interrupted three times by clients coming to the door. So Coco's like, can we get through with this already? Now, next command we're going to show you is a sit-stay. It's a hand and a voice command. And you're practicing with her at home, 15 seconds to 30 seconds, working up to three minutes. When Brandy walks all the way around Coco, she should hold that stay, and then they take off healing again. So really practice with her at home. Twice a day would be great, but only 10 minutes per training session. Another sit stay. Brandy's all the way out that six foot tra training leash. Instead of returning back, she's going to call Coco. And the idea is that Coco comes all the way back and sits when she gets to Brandy. Now we use a lot of praise with Coco and occasionally we'll introduce a little treat to keep her focused on us. Another beautiful automatic sit. Gonna have her sit and stay again one more time. And then Brandy will call her out of that. And it's one of the two times that we use her name in training. Coco Heal or Coco Come. Now the next command we're going to demonstrate is going to be the down from heel position. So always have your dog seated nicely at your left. Take your left open palm. Down. One word firm down. command to down. And stay. And if she doesn't down, you saw a little gentle kind of tug towards the ground to get her to lay down. Again, have her hold this for 30 seconds or so, working up to two or three minutes. Brandy walks all the way around her, gives her lots of praise for being a good girl. And if she got up there, that's not the end of the world. She's a little tiny dog and she's probably not exactly 100% secure with you down. being back there. Stay, go. Ready? Down. Stay. Stay. Fresh. And she's getting fresh now, like I said. We've tried this video yeah. twice no. with clients yeah. arriving Stay. early. Stay. And this is going this will be what happens if you work with her too long. It's tough for her to focus. It's tough for her to pay attention for an extended period of time. And that's with every really young puppy. Beautiful come command and a beautiful automatic sit. And we're going to show you one more command, which is going to be the down from a distance, which is the hardest command. Down. There you go. Like I said, she's had three attempts at this. She's done an amazing, amazing job here at school. We couldn't be more proud of her for a young puppy, for a Pomeranian that small to really, really do well with her obedience training is quite impressive. We want to thank you so much for trusting us with Coco and we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Have a great day.